Hey, grace and peace, everyone. This is Charles here with your midweek recharge. And this week, I want to talk about uh, underappreciated and completely necessary occupations. Those jobs that our society relies on, but often go sort of underappreciated, unrecognized. And there was a lot of that sort of like salute to the heroes of retail and you know, make sure you thank uh, the grocery store cashiers and, uh, you know, the people working at your local pharmacy. And I'm not trying to make light of that, um, but there was a lot of lip service paid to that. And then companies often didn't back it up with uh, pay increases or better benefits. It was a lot of like saying thank you. But when push came to shove, uh, the large corporations didn't actually demonstrate their gratitude in, in many cases, not in every case, but but in many cases, um, at, which is why you had this this great resignation where uh, uh, folks in these positions were like, yeah, you know, we'll we'll figure out we'll do something else uh, because we're just not going to continue to be underappreciated. Uh, well, it reminds me of a similar occupation. Um, uh, in the Middle East, and as, I mean, still, wherever shepherding, wherever um, uh, livestock and, and needing to herd and, and care for uh, livestock is, is, is important, it is still a, a critical occupation. But when I think about particularly the illustration that Jesus was trying to make, he um, uh, used the, the shepherd occupation um, to make an illustration, and he used kind of two comparisons. He called himself the door, and he called himself the good shepherd. And as the good shepherd, he was simultaneously a good shepherd and a door. Now, you may not know this, but many times when shepherds would take their sheep out grazing, and they had to potentially go far away from home because they had to identify or find, locate better pasture lands, uh, they would stay out, and so they would pen the sheep uh, wherever they could kind of geographically arrange for the sheep to be penned, um, and they would spend the night away from home, and the shepherds would literally lay down, lay down their bodies across the opening of the pen that they created and serve as the door. And as the door, they kept their sheep in, and they also kept predators out by their physical presence. And so Jesus was saying that he's both the door and the good shepherd, and that through Jesus, we could find that abundant pasture land. We could find that grazing area where we could be fed abundantly. And so I want to challenge you this week to think about those occupations and those members of our society that maybe we overlook or we take for granted. And not only extend your gratitude, but reflect on the ways in which you may be able to serve and you may be able to extend yourself and you may be that doorway for someone else's prosperity. You just might be a vessel that helps someone to find the true door. Let that be your recharge.